Today on The Hookup, I'm gonna show you how to use WLED with Wi-Fi RGBW light bulbs so that they can be easily controlled not only with your phone, computer, or home automation platform, but also with X lights to be integrated in a holiday light show. Three years ago, I made this video about adding my custom firmware onto RGBW downlights that were meant to be used with the Tuya app, but it required opening them up, soldering wires onto tiny pads, and using the Arduino IDE, so I could understand why people wouldn't want to do it. Then two years ago, I made an updated video about using the Tuya convert process to flash that same firmware over the air without any soldering or even needing to open the light bulb. Whew, those were the glory days. Fast forward to 2021 and Tuya Convert is basically dead because Tuya updated their software so that it couldn't be exploited to install custom firmware. Even worse than that, they've largely moved away from using the ESP8266 chip altogether, meaning no custom firmware at all. The good news is that 2021 has brought us a better way. Instead of constantly fighting with Tuya to make their bulbs do something that they weren't intended to do, there's a company that sells bulbs for this exact purpose, with Tasmoda and even WLED pre-installed. Atham Tech has a full lineup of light bulbs with ESP8266 chips that have two megabytes of flash memory that are built for your custom firmware. And as of WLED 12.0, you won't need to use my janky code anymore to get your bulbs working with X lights. Also, because you'll be using WLED, you could also control those same bulbs with Amazon Echo, Home Assistant, and even the Philips Hue app if that's your thing. If you already have bulbs running my firmware, I'll also show you how to get those bulbs onto WLED in this video. I'm gonna focus on the upgrade process from different starting points. And then at the end, I'll show you how to set up WLED for your specific bulb and also how to use it in X lights. You probably won't need all the instructions, so feel free to use the bookmarks to get to the upgrade path that you need. Holiday Coro is one of the largest light show vendors in the United States, and it's your one-stop shop for everything that you need for a holiday light show. Every single neighborhood needs that one house that has awesome holiday lights. So why not have it be yours? Whether you want to start small with a couple of corrugated plastic snowflakes or jump right into a mega tree, Holiday Coro has you covered with individual parts or pre-assembled ready-to-run kits. Check out HolidayCoro.com using the link down in the description to support this channel. Starting with the easiest path, just buy the Atom bulbs that have WLED pre-installed. Done. The second path, though, is going from a bulb that already has Tasmoda on it to WLED. You'll start by powering up your bulb. If it's not already on your Wi-Fi, then connect to the Tasmoda Wi-Fi access point and put in your information. Next, find the bulb's IP address on your router and open it up in your web browser. Go to information and check on the flash size of your ESP chip. If it's two megabytes, then you're gonna download the WLED two megabyte version, which supports future updates. But if you only have the one megabyte version like many Tuya bulbs, then you can only upgrade it once because there won't be enough room left over in memory to do future over the air updates. Either way to free up space, we need to install the Tasmoda Minimal Firmware. So download that, and then go to Firmware Upgrade and select that Tasmoda Minimal bin file and hit Start Upgrade. While Tasmoda Minimal is updating, we also need to make the WLED bin file you selected earlier, which is either the one megabyte or two megabyte version, slightly smaller so it will fit into flash memory. To do this, we're gonna create a .gz compressed file. On Windows, the easiest way to do that is with 7-zip, and on Mac or Linux, you can do it right from the terminal. On Windows, just right-click on your WLED bin file and select Add to Archive. Then make sure the format is gzip and hit OK. Now you should have a file in the same folder with the exact same file name except for the .gz extension. Now go back to your Tasmoda IP address and choose Firmware Upgrade. Then select that .gz WLED bin file and hit Upload. Your bulb will restart and a WLED access point will open up. Connect to it using the password WLED1234 and then enter your Wi-Fi information. After that, the WLED interface should be accessible from the same IP address that you were using with Tasmoda. Go ahead and skip to the next section of this video to see how you can upgrade it later and to see how to set it up with your specific bulb. The other upgrade path is if you're coming from my previous E131 MQTT firmware using the Arduino IDE. For this path, we're gonna use another tool by WLED's creator, the Minimal HTTP Updater. The great part about this sketch is that it only uses standard ESP8266 libraries, so you aren't likely to run into any compiling errors. All you need to do is open up the sketch, select the correct flash size memory for your specific bulb with enough space to do OTA upgrades, and then find your bulb in the port selection menu and hit upload. As a general rule, most Tuya bulbs will be one megabyte of flash, which comes with the limitation of not being able to upgrade it over the air later on. If while you're doing this, you get a message saying no answer, that usually means that when you originally uploaded my firmware, you used the 512 kilobyte flash size, which doesn't have the ability to do over the air updates. However, if all goes well, you'll see an access point pop up called update me 
and you can connect to it using the password updater1. Then go to 192.168.4.1 and click on select firmware. As I said, most Tuya bulbs will need to use the one megabyte version of WLED, which doesn't support OTA updates later on, but the Athen bulbs have two megabytes, so you use the two megabyte version. After you've downloaded the correct size firmware, you'll need to compress it into the GZIP format, which I explained earlier, can be done in 7-zip for Windows or in Terminal for Mac or Linux. Click on choose file at the top and select your WLED bin.gz file and hit update firmware. If all goes well, you'll see a screen that says update success, rebooting, and the WLED Wi-Fi access point will appear. Connect to that access point and put in your Wi-Fi information, and then you're all set. Once you've gotten onto WLED 12.0 or higher, if you have the two megabyte version, you can still upgrade to future versions of WLED, or you could even go back to Tasmoda. But the path for doing that is gonna be different for each way you got to WLED in the first place. If you upgraded using the Tasmoda to WLED method, then you can simply go back to the Tasmoda minimal firmware by uploading a gzipped Tasmoda minimal bin through the WLED interface. Once you refresh your page, Tasmoda will still have your Wi-Fi credentials stored and it'll just come right up. But if you didn't come from Tasmoda and you try this method, you're gonna brick your bulb because the Tasmoda minimal doesn't know your Wi-Fi information and it doesn't have access point mode enabled. If you came from my firmware using the Arduino IDE method, you'll use AirCookie's minimal ESP8266 updater to do any future upgrades. Assuming you're up and running in WLED, you still need to configure it to work with your bulb. So go to LED Preferences, set your number of LEDs to 1, turn off the brightness limiter, and in the drop-down, you're going to select PWM RGBWC. Next, you'll put in the pins that correspond to each color for your bulb. If you're using a Tuya bulb, you can probably find this information on Black Adder's database, but if you're using the Athen bulbs, they post that information right on the bulb's purchase page. A notable limitation of WLED right now is that even though you can put both warm white and cool white LED pins in, there's no functionality for changing the color temperature, so the white slider will only control the first pin in the series. That means if you want your bulb to be warm white, you should put the warm white pin in the first spot, and if you want it to be cool white, you should put the cool white pin in the first spot. Color temperature control is on the roadmap, but it hasn't been implemented yet. Go ahead and hit save and your bulb should be ready to go. And it'll be automatically detected in Home Assistant, or you can use the Sync Interfaces menu to set up Amazon Echo or Philips Hue. The last thing, if you wanna use this bulb in X lights for your holiday light show, you go to Sync Interfaces and then put in the DMX universe that you wanna use your light with. I recommend putting each light into a separate universe for easier programming, but you don't have to if you don't want to, and you can specify the start channel. Next, in X lights, you'll add a new Ethernet controller and put in the IP address of your new bulb. Make sure you set the same universe in X lights that you put in for your WLED settings and put four for the number of channels per universe. Next, in the layout tab, make a single line and then change the number of pixels to one. Then in appearance, change your pixel size to around 200, pixel style to blended circle, transparency to seven, and black transparency to 100. Last, you'll need to decide how you want to handle the color white with your RGBW bulbs. You can have white be handled by the white channel only, you can have it be a super bright combination of white LEDs and the RGB LEDs, or you can have it output using only the RGB LEDs. Based on where your bulbs are located and if you want the white color to match the rest of your lights, all these options are viable. Starting with the white channel only, in X lights, you'll want your model to be the four channel RGBW mode, and then in WLED, you'll go back to sync interfaces and change your DMX mode to multi RGBW. If you want your white channel to be a combination of white and RGB LEDs, you probably won't need to change anything. Your model will just be the three channel RGB and WLED will do all the calculations for you to turn on the white LEDs. Last, if you want your bulb to only use the RGB LEDs so that the white color will match your pixels, you'll use three channel RGB in your X lights model. And then in WLED, you'll need to go to the LED preferences menu. And then down at the very bottom, there's a drop down that says auto calculate white channel from RGB. And for that, you'll just change it to none. This video isn't sponsored by Athen Bulbs. I just recently heard about their compatibility with WLED from one of my subscribers named Dale Scott. And I'm super excited about what they're doing. If you're interested in their color, here's a super quick comparison of their performance compared to my previous Lojas bulbs. Here's the red channel, green channel, blue channel, the white channel, and then here's combined white. The Athen bulbs are for sale on AliExpress and my link down in the description is an affiliate link. So if you appreciate a video like this, consider using that link because it gives me a small portion of the sale at no cost to you. Thank you so much to my patrons over at Patreon for your continued support of my channel. And if you're interested in supporting my channel, please check out the links down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching The Hookup.